Hey guys, what's going on? Nick here, and welcome back to Death Note. And we are now on to Death Note episode 19. In the last episode, it was really enjoyable. It wasn't like a really, like one of the best ones, but it was. A, they're still all enjoyable. And but it was intense at the end when one of the guys from the task force had to leave, and he was crying. It was like crying out, kind of through the end phase of the episode. And I was like, that's kind of sad. <laughs> But yeah, he had to go because he wanted to be with his family. Plus, it was kind of a test from L to see if he would stay or not with all that money that each one of them's going to get, apparently. And then he's handcuffed to Light, who's helping him find the other Kira, who's working in the Yatsuba uh, company. So it's all really interesting, regardless of the not-as-fast-paced episode. But it was a great episode, and I still enjoyed and also, um, I'm going to try something, because I didn't get copyright strike on any Death Note videos. It was on One Punch Man. But also, if I don't monetize videos, because I think it's automatically monetizing them when I upload them, which I don't mean to do. So, I'm going to try uploading this one without the monetization and see if anything happens. But if, it, if I get any sort of notice or something, I'm just going to do Google Drive. But... I find it kind of stupid that all these other people get to upload their reactions and I'm just here like, well, the hell, I can't do this? So I'm just going to try, at least with Death Note for now. That being said, let's get into Death Note episode 19. Quiet, Matsuda. This is not the time to be fooling around. Knock it off. Yes, sir. This is the Kira investigation. Stop messing around. Sorry, Aizawa. Matsuda! Please don't. Matsuda? After all, the last thing I want is to be dead weight. Ryuzaki! Is there anything I can do to help this the episode about him? Besides the manager thing. Could you get me another cup of coffee? Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I want to help too. I want to contribute to the case. Okay, so it's about him this time. Don't tell me you're going home now. Instead, say you'll stay by my side. Uh, Mr. Director, I can't do this. I have a boyfriend. Can we come to love Oh my please? gosh. Wait, where'd this come from all of a sudden? Can't we just fake kiss or something? What? You're kidding. You can't expect us to make a movie like that. If I say no, then it's no, okay? Come on. Come on. Yotsuba Group's main Tokyo office. And today is Friday. All the deaths that are beneficial for Yotsuba are concentrated around the weekends. Hmm. The last thing I want to be is dead weight. Nogi's been incredibly efficient from the start. Quiet, Matsuda. This is not the time to be fooling around. Would you cut it out? That is his specialty. Then could you get <laughs> another cup of coffee? Matsuda! Feels like he's being used. <sighs> I wants to do more. Matsu! Hello, Matsu, get over here! I guess he had to run off somewhere. Oh. <laughs> He's either gonna do something very good or get into something very bad. Being, I want you to start going over this list here. Yes, sir, right away. Would I punish evildoers and criminals if I could kill by just seeing a name and face? Is that what I'd do if I had that sort of power? Yeah. I mean, it's true that there are lots of people around that the world could frankly do without, but I don't think I'd become a murderer uh, just to change huh? the world. Surely I wouldn't do that. No, I'm thinking too hard about this. There's no way anyone could murder so many people and not have any memory of it. Yeah. What's wrong? You've been staring at me for the last two minutes. Wait, let me guess. You must be annoyed because I'm the only one eating cake at the moment, am I right? Uh, no, that's not it. Here. Really, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Ryuzaki. Yes, what is it? Detective Eraldo Coyle has just received a private request to investigate and reveal the identity of L. Isn't Eraldo Coyle supposed to be the second greatest detective in the world? After L himself? Who on earth would send such a request? The man who sought out Coyle's services is Masai Kokida. 
the head of the rights and planning department of the Yotsuba Group's headquarters in Tokyo. So it is Yotsuba. We know that Yotsuba must be linked to Kira. If they're trying to find out El's identity, it's probably because they want to kill him and need that information to do it. This isn't good. We're already shorthanded enough as it is, and now we have to worry about mm. Coil, too. Mm. It's quite all right. The detective known as Araldo Coil is me. Mm -hmm. It's quite simple, really. Three of the greatest detectives in the world. El, Coil, and Deneuve. They're all actually me. It's been my experience that people who try to find me usually fall for this. I'll give you this strawberry if you mm. give it a secret, okay? So they all know his names? I'm impressed as always, Ryuzaki. Important men. Maybe I should leave while I still have a chance. No. Then there would have been no point in coming here. Should I wait until everyone's gone and search their offices? Oh, I can't. I'd probably get caught doing that, and then maybe I should get out of here. Uh, Something's gonna happen. Office again. I'm too tired. Look on the bright side. At least it falls on the weekend. We never know how long these confidential meetings will go on for. Can you imagine confidential if Mondays. That would be the worst start to the week. Confidential meetings? All right. He's actually doing some actual work for himself. I made it this far. I'm gonna see it through. All right. I just have to get close to him, right? Leave it to me. And you want me to make sure that we're able to breach the security and override the surveillance cameras in the Yotsuba Group's head office? Is that all? Yes. At this point, it's safe to assume that Kira and the Yotsuba Group are connected in some way. We're going to investigate Yotsuba to determine who holds Kira's power, and if there is more than one person who possesses this ability. We need a clear understanding quickly. Hear them clearly. Can't even hear anything. Just one thing, something important. I just heard someone say "kill." Kira, there it is. Kira, they said it. What's that? Let's have Kira get rid of him. I heard it. They really are working with him. I did it. This is huge. Oh my god. I knew he was gonna do something bad. Who the hell are you? Please be sure not to act impulsively out of panic or haste. And don't take matters into your own hands. Ryuzaki. Yes, what is it? I have just received an emergency signal from Matsuda's belt. Uh, where is he? It seems that it's coming from within the head office of the Yotsuba group. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Um, my name is Taro Matsui. I'm an agent with Yoshida Productions. I just dropped by to ask if your company would be interested in using our top multi-talented star, Misa Amane, as your new spokesperson. <laughs> hmm. Disregard everything I just said. We'll need to rethink our strategy. Matsuda, you idiot. I knew it. <laughs> I knew he was gonna mess it up. Or he was gonna either do something good or something bad. Let's see where this goes. Matsui is a pretty cool guy though. Shida Productions. Taro Matsui. He doesn't have anything suspicious on him. I suppose that means he isn't a corporate spy. <laughs> right. Um so please take Misa Misa into consideration. <laughs> These two are only acting as guards. The rest of them must be discussing how they'll get rid of me. Oh, there's no way out of this. I'm gonna be killed for sure. 
I wonder if the emergency signal got through. Well, never mind that. Even if it did, will Ryozaki come and save me? Oh no, no. what's gonna happen? <laughs> Go ahead. You can answer it. Don't say that you're here, though. And hold it away from your ear. Make sure we can listen in on the conversation. Well, listen okay. in? I mean, is he being held captive? Hello? Yo, Matsui! Miyazaki! Oh. Ah, it's me, Asahi. It's been a while, buddy. Asahi, yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, it doesn't sound like you're out right now. <laughs> Don't tell me your whole world. His voice. Yeah. So, you by yourself? Yeah, I'm by myself. What's up? He's not with Misa Amane right now. Matsuda must be on his own. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to, like, go out drinking tonight? <laughs> huh? Right now? Want to go out drinking, Oh, bro? sorry. I'll have to pass tonight. Oh, what's the matter? Don't tell me your wallet is in trouble again. In trouble? Yeah, that's right. Big troubles with money. You know me way too well. <laughs> Matsuda's saying he's in big trouble. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Guess I'll drag you out some other time, all right? See ya, buddy. Fail. <laughs> Hangs up. Anyway, what do you think about contracting Misa Misa? I think she'd be a great spokesperson for your company. If you're gonna promote one of your clients, shouldn't you at least bring them with you? Do you expect us to believe you're this girl's manager? Well, to be honest, at the moment she's filming a movie nearby. Once she's finished, I'll call her and get her over here. Then you can see why she'd make a great spokesperson. I have to keep stalling them somehow. They see he knows how to keep cover. Misa's cell phone is on voicemail right now. I left her a message and told her to get back to me as soon as she can. What are you planning to do, Ryozaki? Well... We have to consider that if Matsuda dies, our suspicions about the Yotsuba group will be confirmed. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just watch the situation for the time being. What should we do? The main question is whether he heard anything. If it's a possibility, no matter how small, we'll have to kill him. I'm wondering if he really did come here just to promote his client. He could be an undercover cop. No, that can't be it. The Japanese police have completely withdrawn support from the Kira case. Look, it doesn't really matter who he is. We have no choice but to kill him. Crap, seriously? Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, it might be good to have her as the face of our company. Hmm? Oh, exactly. Her shoot should be done soon, so please wait. She'll convince you. You're not with Matsuda at the moment, are you? Him? He's a total jerk. He just ran off and left me here. Oh. Hang on, I'm getting a call on my work phone. <laughs> oh, hey, it's from Matsu. Misa's just received a call from Matsuda. Tell her to hold her phone so that we can listen in as well. <sighs> Misa, Misa, when you're finished filming, come over to the Yotsuba group head office. It's still tentative, but there's a chance you may be able to appear in Yotsuba's commercials. We're working it out now. What? You're amazing, Matsu, so right that's what you've been up to all this time. Don't worry, we're wrapping up soon. Great, it's just a short trip by taxi. <sighs> Listen to me, Light. There is a chance that we may be able to save Matsuda, but we won't be able to do it without Misa's help. She'll listen to you and do anything you say, won't she? Hmm, <laughs> what's gonna happen? I'm Misa Misa. My only role is I don't do news. <laughs> Suits and laundry are totally okay. It's really nice to meet you. <laughs> I gotta admit, she is really cute in person. That's not exactly the main issue now, wouldn't you agree? By the way, Matsu, since Yotsuba's a big catch, I got the okay from her office to have a special reception. Mm -hmm. Reception? <laughs> Good evening. We're very pleased to meet you. Tonight, I'll be entertaining you as our special guest, along with the girls from the agency. Hey, is it just me, or is this getting... <laughs> hmm, well, it can't be helped. But right now, we can't afford to leave Misa's manager alone for a second. Let's just go with it. I'm gonna enjoy myself. 
All right. Hmm. Hard to go wrong with this. Hard to go wrong with this. <laughs> Ryozaki and the others will be able to watch us from here. This is my way out. <laughs> Try and see. Here you are. Drink right up. <laughs> Man, we gotta do this more wrong. Well, well. Nisa's pretty good at this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Mm -hmm. I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Ryozaki, are you watching this? Yes. Uh, look, I'm really sorry that I... That's not important right now. Okay. Listen, the eight men who came here were having a meeting to determine who they'd get Kira to kill for them. Oh. I heard them say it clearly. There's no doubt they're behind this. Yes, that is probably true. But if you did overhear them and they caught you, then they'll almost certainly be trying to kill you now. Oh, uh, I know. Do you think there's anything I can do to save myself? Well, luckily you're still alive, so we may be able to save you. But for that to happen, you will have to die before they can kill you. What? Oh. I want you to listen to me very carefully. Can have a fake death. Oh, no way. But that's that's crazy. Well, crazy might be able to save your life. There are still changes, and you know our company is expanding. Hey! <laughs> what the hell? Who's that? Wow. I am so drunk. Uh, oh. uh, 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 <laughs> hi, everyone. Everyone having fun? Good. That's great. Uh. Now, everyone, the moment you've all been waiting for the Taro Matsui Show! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Yay! You can do it! Go, Matsu! All right. Here we go. Hey, you're drunk. That's way too dangerous. Don't worry, I'm just fine. I do this all the time. Dude, freaking them. So sick. Are you crazy, you It's all right. No problem. You should all just leave this for us to take care of and go home. What? But don't worry, we'll handle it. Just don't forget about me for your next campaign, okay? Let's go. If the press sees us, we're in trouble. Yeah. What's going on? Did someone jump? Well, we're lucky that he ended up dying right in front of us at any rate. Hey. Shorthanded, I'm not very pleased about having to do this sort of thing myself. Matsuda, you idiot. <sighs> oh. Okay. It's pretty well thought out, though. I actually got, like, into Lisa that scene. Amane's manager dies in full. Hmm. Yes. You're Masahiko Kida, VP of the Rights and Planning Department at Yotsuba's Tokyo office, correct? Yes, that's right. And who am I speaking to? I go by the name Eraldo Coyle. I'm calling to discuss my terms with you. <laughs> what? A $2 million advance and $8 million upon completion? Is he out of his mind? That's not all. Even if we don't commission him, we have to pay him $2 million just to keep him silent. So he wants hush money, huh? 
If he's saying something like that, we should assume Coyle knows quite a bit already. This is getting ridiculous. I've had it. I want out of these meetings right now. I don't know who Kitty is, and I don't care. I just don't want to get wrapped up in this and end up in jail. End up dead. Hi, Tori. I think you're going to end up dead yeah. tomorrow. Jeez. No, wait. I was only joking. It's not like that. I'm in. I'll see this to the end. So what are we going to do? Coyle is still willing to accept the job, despite what he already knows. Isn't it obvious? He'll become partners with us as long as we pay him. His demands are exorbitant, but we need to have someone as skilled as Coyle on our side. Good point. Pay him. It doesn't matter how much. Exactly. We'll just have to pay him. Right, we'll contract Coil. Anyone have any objections? No, no objections. objections. L, are you listening? Oh, I'm so disappointed. I thought this would be a challenge. Security level here is a joke. They've left it all to a single contractor. There weren't nice. even any wiretap detectors. It's been about a week since I first snuck into the place. It looks like things have been moving pretty smoothly since then, huh? We've almost got them. So one of these people is Kira. Well then, now that everyone's here, let's commence our regular meeting. But if there's supposed to be eight, why are there only seven? Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. It was a pretty decent episode. Um, not too much really, besides, well, Matsuda really had a big part in this episode, which I like, because we get to see more of why he is the way he is and I thought something bad was gonna happen which it did but it's all part of the story and I can't wait for the next episode and again I will uh, be trying to upload this fully on YouTube hopefully I don't get a copyright strike just because I'm not gonna monetize anything now but that being said hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video peace